Okay, who else gagged when Alistair got all that salt in his mouth? I was just making me go the whole time. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Head on a Pin. This is episode 16 of Supernatural Season 4, and this is one of my favorite episodes of the season. Not only do we have Dean ha go one-on-one -on -one with his former torture mentor, Alistair, we also find out about Dean being the origins of the apocalypse. Anna returns and further builds that gap of uncertainty for Castiel. We find out that Uriel's actually a homie who wants the world to end. He wants to see Lucifer rise and there is a conflict between those two. As well as Sam getting enough juice to full on destroy Alistair in his own body. As well as there's some really cool angel, dead angels wings shots. There's one that starts the episode with all the cars being destroyed and then obviously Uriel at the end. I like this episode for two reasons. There's the back and forth conflict between Dean and Alistair, which eventually leads to Alistair winning because Dean just can't torture him in the way that it is expected to make him talk. There is this great back and forth banter and in the end, Alistair beats him with words before he even beats him with his own fists. And then, at the same time, we see Sam come in full-on strong-arm the guy, and all the while Castiel is kind of questioning what it is he's actually doing, what this torture method is. And then he sees Sam come in and do the job even quicker. But he can't really disagree with what Sam's doing because he did what they had Dean do, in a much shorter sense of time. And then I like that Anna is really kind of making her own faction of, of angels. She is essentially trying to build team free will while the brothers are already doing it kind of subconsciously and in castiel's conversations about being disobedient is really well written and this episode was written by ben endlin and you can see his really great writing throughout this episode in terms of the twists in terms of the inner character dynamics and their morals and their conflicts and then the episode ends with castiel and uriel having a pretty damn good fight like when castiel goes right through that pillar I think the pillar like scissors him and it's just it's a nuts fight scene it's pretty cool to see it and considering supernatural would actually damage walls when eventually characters would just get thrown against them and nothing would happen not even a dent but this was really cool to see destruction on the set all around it has a bunch of very solid twists the fact that Alistair is able to get out while also hold up to Dean's uh, tortures not only with just his character but also his chin like I said I really like the actor who plays Alistair he's only in two episodes at least this version of him in the entirety of the show as far as I can remember and he is one of the most memorable characters in this entire show's history there are certain characters in Supernatural's history that have had a long-staying effect when they've only been around for one or two episodes so this guy definitely is up there in that pillar in that hall of honor if you want to call it that and i like how sam full-on just <clears throat> force grips him and kills him and then again just how the episode ends with dean just being like i can't do this this extra layer of guilt on top of him being that he is the one who caused the apocalypse but then castiel also kind of gives up that moniker of possible hope being that the man who starts the apocalypse is also the one who will end it and it's great because they don't fully answer it but the idea is that he takes on the moniker of michael and i like that there is this forward building they say that they didn't have a lot of the ideas set in stone but you can really see that they're building up to season five and this is something that a lot of you who watched me from season 12 all the way up to 15 would complain about um would see me complain about being that there wasn't any forward building in the show anymore but that's because of how the show was structured at that point being renewed season by season is no way to fully think and point and point out and plot out a season a forward arc and that's why every story arc after season five was essentially a different one every time you can't write a show like that so it's why it's so satisfying for me to see an episode like this building up all the way to season five but that's something that the show has been doing ever since season one practically so if it wasn't obvious enough already i'm gonna give head on a pen a seven out of seven this is one of my favorite episodes of this season and it rightfully deserves that number all around it's a great episode great villains great twists great 
conflict and a really cool resolution slash build up to what will be the main conflict of season five. And as always, I asked you guys for your comments about this episode, so let's read those off now. Okay, I really shouldn't be surprised, but you guys had a lot to say about this episode. So this might be a little bit long. On the Head of a Pin has to be one of the darkest episodes in the series, and again, my favorite, third favorite of this season alongside Death Takes a Holiday. This episode has great atmosphere and production value. It's honestly one of the most visually pleasing episodes of the show, particularly with the first angel death shot. Yes, very much so, especially also with the torture chamber. The performances are top, top notch with Alistair, and especially Dean being the standouts. And that's the best part about characters is flaws. Those are the parts that we resonate with most. Those are the parts that we can attach to and kind of uh, acknowledge. And those moments definitely went away from the show, but that's also just kind of longevity. Eventually that would just disappear because of how long the show had gone on for. It's kind of like Pokemon. Head on a Pin is hands down my favorite episode of the entire series. Edlin is the best writer the show ever had. So many revelations in this one episode. Dean broke the first seal. Sam got his mojo from drinking demon blood. Ruby 100% evil. Not a shocker, but her face when she had Sam drinking was crazy. Angels are killable, Cass is a true ally, and Heaven is completely corrupt. The Alistair actor absolutely nailed it. His face when Sam killed him was crazy. Jensen proved he could actually act. This better get a 7 out of 7, Jeremy. Yes, it does. It does, and all of those moments, you are 100% true. There was a lot of revelations, a lot of great moments that were put into this episode thanks to Edlin's writing. Head on a Pin is in competition with Yellow Fever for being my favorite episode of this season. This episode proves that even though death may not mean too much in this show, it's still created for really interesting stories. Dean dying and going to hell and then coming back with the guilt of having torture people was interesting enough, but seeing it here was so great. I also think that this was the best directed episode in the whole season. The lighting and cinematography add to the level of darkness portrayed in this episode. I'm always excited to revisit this one. Dean's conversation with Alistair is easily one of my favorite things about this episode, where he starts to realize that he may have been the reason the apocalypse is, go is about to begin. Yes, I love the revelations. I love the dialogue. And yes, the episode shot really well. Like I said, there's that really great fight scene with Cass but also showing the room in its entirety. Since a lot of it's in studio, they have a lot of opportunities to have different angles to add to that. They couldn't have done that, they didn't have to, but they still went through that trouble to do those interesting angles and have that great back and forth banter with a literal battle of words. Alistair is easily one of the most menacing villains this show's ever seen, despite only making a brief appearance. There's an uncomfortable intimacy in the way he interacts with Dean that I find far more sinister than any of the later baddies. At times, it's almost like he's addressing an old flame. I carved you into a new animal is such an incredible line. Props both to Christopher Hedrill and Jensen Ackles for making the torture scenes in A Head on a Pen some of the grittiest scenes in the show's history. Apparently, Christopher really lifted Jensen by his neck while choking him on set. The level of trust and professionalism needed for that is just crazy. Wow, I did not know that, but that is pretty insane. The guy's super goddamn tall, too, so he needed to really have that element of fear put not only to Dean, but also us as the audience. Okay, here's a long one. I don't know if I'll be able to read the whole thing, Joe, but I'll read what I can. On the head of a pin is what stands out to me throughout the entire season. The opening of this episode with a car accident from an angel dying and you see its wings from the helicopter strobe light just shows how crazy one angel death is and how visually poor it is when season seven has an angel die from Meg merely stabbing the angel with a day angel screams and the eyes glow and just collapses to the floor. The master and the student relationship between Alistair and Dean is perfectly written. It's kind of a question of who is really torturing who because Alistair is not only the master in physical torture but also emotional torture as well. The music, the torture, and the heartbreak of the reveal of Dean being the first domino piece to ushering Lucifer's rise is literally almost as good as Darth Vader telling Luke of his shared heritage. Actually, yeah, that's a good comparison. I really love the evil sacrilege demons have, especially with Alistair not getting killed by saying, I guess God is on my side today. This is also one of my very rare instances where we see angels being expelled from human vessels from an incantation that I wish they use later in the show. Castiel starting to question his loyalty with the angels is honestly a great character moment when he comes to Anna for help, and I love how she doesn't do it. That's It's more of the journey of self discovery more than anything else. The last scene with Castiel and Dean in the hospital is one of the most heartbreaking moments of the season and perhaps even the show. Just so much doubt and so much despair. This episode once again was done by my favorite writer and I hope you enjoyed it as I did or at least a great amount. No, this is one of my favorite episodes of the entire season. I would say it might even be my favorite one because this is the one that I always think of when season four comes around. 
Lazarus Rising is probably the best put together episode, but this is probably one of my favorite ones. On the Head of a Pin would be on my list of underrated episodes. It is my joint favorite of season four with the first episode and the next episode. I can't think of a supernatural episode which has done the multiple storyline for multiple characters better, or for main characters better. In this episode, all the main characters had significant storyline development. Also love how the episode balances action, drama, humor. There's something stuck in my throat. It's my throat. <laughs> and the dark sad ending plus well acted and that version of alistair is super creepy and definitely a contender for best demon on the show as a big bad i'm 100 percent gonna always remember alistair as one of the best villains of this show if i ever did a top five or top ten villains of supernatural alistair would be there and this guy was only in two goddamn episodes if death takes a holiday is a seven out of seven which is not for me then head on a pin is for sure a seven out of seven the question is, how do I keep the praise for this episode short? Amazing acting from all, but Ruby in this episode, especially Chris, I'm not going to say his name right because I'm not, as Alistair. No surprise, Jensen himself has said Chris was an amazing was amazing as a guest star and he would like to work with again. The drama and the number of surprise reveals is off the charts. Angels killing angels, Uriel's betrayal, Dean breaking the first seal required for the apocalypse, Sam drinking demon blood and now hyped up to kill even the strongest demon. Sam's new power is, is a real season changer. While Dean's guilt is crushing, it's all just thrillingly heartbreaking. And while Anna's character isn't treated well in the long run, she gets a memorable line. That's the real Anna, one righteous queen. Yes, that was a great moment on her part. And again, yeah, we're going to start to see Anna's character kind of get a little bit muddled as we continue on, especially into season five, which is a little bit unfortunate, but sometimes that just happens. Thank you guys once again for those thoughts and comments. Now we've got It's a Terrible Life, episode 17, so give me your thoughts about that episode in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the next video. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.